And it smells so good in here. It tastes better. It's more nutritious. It's substantially cheaper than the store-bought version. So why aren't more of us making our own bread at home? Well, Echo Blue Flame Kitchen wants you to stop loafing and check out their brand new digital cookbook, Love to Be Needed. Here to share some of the best bread-making tips is Echo Blue Flame Kitchen chef Ryan Rock. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. In my mind, and I think a lot of people would say the same, making bread is like a science. So is there a need to be intimidated by doing this yourself? Um, no, I don't think so at all. Um, we've got some great recipes coming out where we can start off with some really kind of basic bread doughs that you can make quite easily at home and then some more advanced ones. So I think if you start out with some of those easier ones, get the kids involved, everyone can have fun making bread. And what smells better than fresh bread coming out of the oven? Oh, absolutely. And a digital cookbook as well. This is yes. a great idea. What are you asking people to do? Um, for this one, we're asking uh, a $5 donation for a charity called Breakfast for Learning. Uh, we still have a lot of Canadian kids going to school hungry in the morning. So this charity really helps out with that. Um, we're just asking for a minimum $5 donation. Of course, we'd love more, but $5 is all we're asking. Mm -hmm. If we can get just 1,000 people to download the cookbook for $5, we can feed 500 kids a healthy breakfast and snack for a full week. So we'd really like Incredible. to help out with that. Um, and teach people how to make some great bread at home, too. Yeah, small things count, and you get the reward as well. You can yes. put the cookbook on your iPad and off to the races. Okay, so we're making some focaccia this morning. Yeah. Is this a great place to start? This is one of the better recipes we have for people that are starting out. Um, it's not too hard to make. If you have a stand style mixer at home with a dough hook attachment, it can be really easy. Okay. Of course, we've got some great YouTube videos um, in the cookbook as well where you can click on the link and just see how to knead bread at home. Uh, by hand and also some other great techniques for uh, bread braiding, um, making the cinnamon swirls that are in there as well. So some other great videos in there. Yeah, you guys really do know how to make it easy. Okay, so what are we doing here this morning? So our focaccia dough, I made this um, in our machine, let it uh, knead for about 10 minutes, then we let it rest for about two hours. As you know, bread takes a little bit of time. We do mm -hmm. need to have a little bit of time to let things uh, rest and relax and proof. Um, so now that it's at that point, we've turned it out onto our sheet here. I just sprayed it lightly. Um, and we really want to kind of stretch this out gently. It looks a little bit small now, but we can really stretch it out. But you want to make sure you do it gently. The yeast has been working in there, making some nice air bubbles, which we can kind of see in there. Okay. So we kind of gently pull it off to the side and kind of stretch it out. We can kind of push it a little bit with our fingers too. We want to just keep uh, gently stretching it till we cover the pan, kind of pushing it down lightly as well. So we really want to maintain those nice uh, air bubbles that we've got in there okay. so we really have them in the final product. That's what makes it really nice, focaccia. It's got that nice chew to it. There's those nice air pockets inside. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're pushing it out, and then we need um, some oil on there as well to help us out. Uh, olive oil would be traditional when we're making focaccia mm -hmm. bread, but we've got some great local options here too. We like to use our Mountain View Farming uh, cold-pressed canola oil. It's got a beautiful yellow color, as you can see when we put that on there. Yeah. Um, so the real thing is using a high, um, a really good quality olive oil or canola oil, whatever type of oil you want to use, because you're really going to taste it in the final product. Right. And one of the other nice things about focaccia, you poke these holes in there and the oil gets in there. You want to make sure you don't poke through, uh -huh. but you want to really have some good indentations in there. Okay, it's fun to get the, the kids involved product. in yeah, that definitely. part. Yeah. And then you can really make it taste however you want. We have uh, some different options here, but really the options are endless. Uh, cheeses are always really nice on there. Fresh herbs work, dried herbs. You do sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, if you want to make Spice it a little bit spicier, up. yeah, you can yeah. use some red chilies. We've got red chili flakes on this one, some Malden salt for a little bit of salty crunch on there too. Um, so you can really mix it up quite a bit. Great. And how exact do you have to be when it comes to following the guidelines? Um, well, I mean, with bread, it is a bit of a science, as yeah. you mentioned. So you really do want to measure carefully. Um, but as you start making a little bit more, you get a feel for the bread and you can kind of, uh, not jive all, but you can get a feeling maybe it needs a touch more flour here and there. Um, there's always a little bit of variables in there, but the recipes, we've tested them out quite a bit. I was happy to be one of the ones tasting Absolutely. them all. Um, and they worked really well. We've had them tested here in Calgary and at Edmonton, um, so you know that everything's going to work here in Alberta. Okay, and yep, the altitude makes a difference, yeah, it doesn't sure it? Does okay, once baking. you've gone to focaccia, you can do some more complicated recipes. Yes. Those are all in the cookbook. Yeah, we have them all in there. There's 10 great recipes, and they're quite a diverse, different type of list. And like I said, some starting out easy and some more advanced as well. Okay, thank you, Chef. We're going to put up uh, links on our website, great. breakfasttelevision.ca. Get baking with your family on the week back to school. And how's the morning drive doing? It was it was pretty slow to start, Dave.